Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with some channeled messages um, regarding some incidents with DFS, regarding some human trafficking. I uh, channeled off of my spirit board with obviously my angels, guides, ancestors, and God himself. And these are the messages that they wanted me to share. I also will be pulling out of my index cards to see kind of who is responsible, who is in trouble, what is happening. Um, again, these readings aren't for everyone. These are for specific people that are going through some legal uh, trouble, some trouble with DFS. And um, this is kind of outing what has been going on in your community. These messages, again, are for my spirit board. And then we're going to do some oracle cards, some index cards, and just kind of have some more information. My light, I apologize. It When I look at it, it doesn't blink. But it is confirming my messages here. It is the energy in my um, office that things are really progressing. The energy is really gaining momentum. So if you're waiting for any type of injustices to make uh, be made into justice in your favor, that is coming straight towards you. People are caught. People are being seen for who they are. Um, the truth is out. The community is talking about it. I did a, a video that is uploading right now uh, regarding community gossip. It's a good one to listen to. Um, please share and like my videos. Uh, if you share my videos, the people that are unable to see them are able to see them. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. These messages are very, very important. This could be happening in your life or in someone else's life. <clears throat> so the first channel message I received off my spirit board is DFS allowed a 16-year-old to have an abortion without legal parent consent. So DFS is hiding that they allowed a 16-year-old child to have an abortion and they did not have their parents' consent. Even if your children are taken away, they still legally have to have this consent. Um, what happened to me, I'll share my uh, story real quick. I was put in uh, jail for 19 days for contempt of court. There is a DFS case against me regarding my 17-year-old da uh, daughter now um, that uh, they took her away for financial neglect. Well, if you research people, you will find that financial neglect does not exist. This case does not exist against me. This is human trafficking. This is people covering up corruption, people harming me and trying to make me look bad in a community. This is coming to a stop because God is here and God is correcting all wrongs and making them right. If you are on this side, if you're watching my video, I know the truth, God knows the truth, and so does the investigators that are investigating you. We have DFS, human traffic children for years and years. DFS are responsible for taking children away from their parents, from good parents. Even if you're not a good parent, they have no right to take your children. Again, I'm going through this. I have not seen or spoke to my daughter in over a year. That is against the law. They cannot take somebody's child and never allow them to see them. Going back to what I was saying uh, a few minutes ago. Um, so I spent 19 days in jail and I was went to DFS. I um, am a witch. I do not, do not give my blood or urine to anyone. That is my uh, spiritual belief. I have every right to deny that. It's not because I'm covering up any drug use. It is because I am a witch. I will not allow somebody to take my blood or urine. That is my First Amendment right. That is my American right, people. We need to start standing in our first, our, 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 excuse me, our amendment rights. We need to stand up to these people. They abuse their authority. They had me sign a, a form that gave guardianship to the foster parent. But what they didn't realize is that that foster parent had posted while I was incarcerated that um, she had received guardianship of my daughter, which is against the law. Again, when you are a foster parent, you cannot post pictures of your foster kids. You cannot post any information on this case. And this gal did. So right there, my uh, rights were broken. It also shows that forms are being um, falsely uh, made up and signed. Uh, I went to the police. They told me they couldn't do anything because this case is a juvenile case, which is bullshit. This is what I'm going through, people, and this is what I am fighting against. The thing is, is they never knew who they were messing with. 
They didn't realize that I'm psychic, that I am also a high priestess. I'm also a divine feminine, and I'm also an empress. So not only did they fuck with the divine feminine, but they also fucked with the high priestess and the empress, which the empress is the divine feminine. Anyone that's chosen and anyone that is doing harm to anyone that is chosen from God to come here and represent the love and light are really, really, really receiving karma. They think that they uh, had a nobody woman from Rollins, Wyoming in a, backed up in the corner, and I literally told them all to fuck off. This case is fucking phony. This is a case of corruption. They stole my daughter. They're human trafficking my daughter. And they human trafficked me my entire life. That's what they're trying to cover up. So um, we have DFS knows they are caught and are shitting their pants as there is no judge, jury, police officer, or FBI agent that can stop this from happening. Busted big time. God said that these people had the nerve to fuck with the divine feminine, high priestess, and the empress all in one. Well, guess they are all fucked. And this is coming from God. Yes, God says fuck people. This is, you know, people, we have been taught our entire lives a bunch of bullshit about religion, about the way that we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to cuss, that there's sins. We don't sin. Those are lessons that God teaches us so we can grow and expand in our life. People are learning just who they fucked with as their lives are crumbling piece by piece. These ignorant, sick fucking people gave their spouses and children STDs. If you've been watching my readings, STDs have been coming out tremendously. Also, STDs um, after children have been drugged and raped. Uh, bosses and spouses fucking hate them. So these people's bosses and spouses fucking hate them for who they are, what they've done. And their bosses are those government officials that are human trafficking people. And God is here and said, you all are fucking going to prison. For the rest of your lives, motherfuckers. I'm sorry that I'm cussing so much, but this is what my spirit, my angels, my guides, and God himself told me to say. Yes, God says fuck all the time. Especially in the sick messages I have had to deliver in my last couple messages. He is here and fucking pissed off the um, and isn't messing around any longer. So God is here. He is fucking pissed off. And he is dishing out karma. People's lives are fucking crumbling. And everyone's seeing who they truly were fucking with. God said you all need to understand who you are truly fucking with. And where this psychic gets the information as you are scrambling to figure out who is telling her. Your sick secrets. So this is really... Those channel messages are really specific for people who watch my channel that have been trying to screw me over my entire life, pretty much. But they're not getting away with it anymore. God is here, people. Okay, let's pull uh, five index cards, please. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I hate to be so blunt and cuss so much, but for one thing, I do cuss a lot. Um, everybody knows that about me. Uh, but so does God. So does my angels, guides, ancestors. And in this case, they are fucking pissed. They want to make a point that people, you're caught. They know what you've been doing. You need to tell the truth because everybody already knows. God himself is giving you the chance to tell the truth, to really stand up to what you've been doing. Tell the sick, sick lies of your community. Stop hiding behind fake witches because that's the first card. These witches thought that they were putting spells and black magic upon people when in reality, when you do any spell or black magic, it reflects back to you. It does not hit that person. You are the one that's reaping in every spell and black magic that you're putting in. Fake witches telling, you know, having fake covens, doing rituals. What they're doing is they're pulling in the devil. These fake witches are using the devil's power to become successful, to get away with what they were getting away with. Again, people, we are at spiritual warfare. There are people that watch Charmed. That show actually gets on my fucking nerves, actually, because 
yeah, it portrays these powerful witches. And, you know, the actresses and actors, all of them are beautiful in that uh, show. I just want to bring that out that, you know, this is telling people that it's okay to to uh, put witchcraft or to use witchcraft in any harmful way. If you are a true witch, you know better to ever put a spell or black magic upon anyone. If they were hiring witches to do this, these witches or these voodoo doctors are refusing to do it because their lives are crumbling. Because all their fucking voodoo and spells have been reflected and are hitting them back. Again, if these fake witches were using the devil or satanic worshiping to hurt a chosen one, can you imagine what their karma is? It's fucking death. These people are dying. These people are coming up with cancer, with AIDS. A lot of them are coming up with AIDS. Um, STDs that are incurable. They also are passing these um, STDs on to children through raping them, through drugging them to be able to rape them. We have fake marriages. So again, fake marriages. People were married uh, to people for money to be able to claim IRS claims, to be able to claim their, their children on their IRS, to fake and um, fraud the IRS, to fraud the government. Um, these are people that are married to more than one person. They, they're married to five or six people, but they're only married to them to make money. This has been a huge scheme, scam that's been going on, especially where I live in Wyoming. Spoke about STDs. STDs comes out. Again, people, people are coming up positive for AIDS, for herpes, incurable STDs. These are because of them trying to harm another person. This is people that have been sleeping with the whole community. People that knew that they had STDs, I'm hearing, and still were sleeping with, with other people, um, not informing them that they were sick with these STDs, spreading these STDs. These STDs have also been spread to children. So again, my videos before, victims being uh, drugged and raped. Now these children that are, have been raped have incurable STDs. Well, we all know where they got them, don't we? How many do I have here? One, two, three. Spells being returned times a hundred. Spoke about that with the fake witches. People, you need to do some research. Are the people that are doing this to you need to research what fucking spells and black magic really are? What you're doing is, yeah, you're going out in your coven, your so-called coven, is doing rituals at what moon at the full moon and you're doing it at midnight or at three o'clock at the witching hour all you're doing is putting these spells upon yourself you put a death spell on somebody that death spell is reflected straight back to you times a hundred you're doing you know ugly spells people to gain weight to break out to look old that's why you're looking 90 fucking years old and the person that you're putting the spell on still looks 30. You know, common sense here, people. Common fucking sense. And then the last card I pulled is money laundering. So we all know that inheritance have been stolen. Uh, we all know that people were using other people's accounts to uh, launder their money through. Uh, here's an ex example of me. My mother passes away. I didn't receive my inheritance. I didn't receive shit. But my stepdad writes uh, two checks to my 16-year-old daughter at the time for $5,000 each. I go in, I put her name on my account so she could, you know, save that money. Within a week, that money was gone. That bank allowed them to take that all that money out of there. I was on my way to Florida uh, to live after they took my daughter away. I pretty much said, fuck this place, I'm out of here. I ended up living in my car for six months. When I was up there, I had sold my Harley. Um, I had supposedly $10,000 in my account. By the time I got halfway to Florida, I had zero money. Because they went in and drained my account. They also laundered that money through my stepdad's checks, the $10,000. There was no inheritance money. There was nothing. That was bullshit. He also laundered that money through my sister-in-law too. Because he wrote two checks to my nephew and niece. And they did the same goddamn thing. Okay, so let's pull a couple uh, tarot cards. And see what else Spirit wants us to know with this reading. I know my readings have been really like like shocking have been really specific but these are the messages that i'm supposed to deliver obviously i'm picking up people's energy that's going through the same shit i'm going through also people if you ask for my help at this time i will uh communicate with you on youtube 
but I will not communicate with anybody um, privately uh, because I have to watch who I am communicating with. Uh, you will have to share your information with me on here. I want to leave it pretty public, so if people are harassing me, because which people do all the time, if people are trying to deceive me, I want the world to see what's being said. So if I told you to email me, I would appreciate it if you would just go ahead and send it on here, just so then we can keep it pretty open and wide for the world to see. So the first card I pulled is the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a teenager. This could be a younger male. This knight is, you know, um, this is swift movement, probably regarding what I just talked about. There's a knight of swords flying in on their broomstick with their sword drawn high, you know, really quickly to bring this information to light. Um, this could be, you know, creating a lot of chaos, which it, you know, obviously is. They, they need to know this DFS and the government and people that have been human trafficking children and women for years. They're fucking caught. God is divine uh, order. Divine timing is here. God said no more, no more. And people are still trying to put spells out there. People are still trying to do black magic. People are still trying to harm people with uh, slander, gossip, by holding their inheritances so they can't move on, so they can't expand in life. People, you are fucking caught. Again, divine timing is here. If you're not spiritual, I don't know why you're watching my channel. You're doing it to get information. And if you're stealing my content, then you better stop now because that's another thing that's against the law. All you people are doing, and I'm not saying my, my subscribers, but all the people are doing is building, you know, I mean, case after case after case after case. These people are already going to prison the rest of their lives. But... You, you, you steal people's content. You're stealing their money. You're holding their inheritance. You are legally responsible to give that person their inheritance, not hold it back. You don't think you're being investigated? They're watching the people suffer because you're too fucking ignorant to give them their inheritance. Or you're too stingy or you think that they don't deserve it or they're schizophrenic or they're a drug addict. In reality, the people that are accusing these people of being these things they actually are that. And if they weren't uh, before, they are now because that's their fucking karma. Karma is real. This Nine of Swords, it's creating a lot of chaos. Um, it could be the fact that uh, quick-minded, this, this could be really opening the minds of people. This also is a serious, serious young man. So this could be, uh, it, it's a Nine of Swords. He could be an undercover cop. He could be a, I'm not going to say FBI because right now I'm not too keen on the FBI. Uh, the information I've received is that they're just as bad as the people we're talking about. Um, they're government employees, the government, fuck the government. That's what I say. Fuck the government. They have fucked me over my entire life and they're done fucking me over. Um, this could be somebody that is, you know, aware of what has been happening. This also could... Uh, represent even a divine masculine that's still a younger version of a divine masculine growing into the emperor we have ooh, i that's crazy we have the devil in reverse i never read the, i've never ever once have i ever received a card in this deck in reverse the devil in reverse this is you know illegal uh, dealings. This is anyone and everyone that has been bound to the devil, this guy. And if you notice, there's two children that this devil is putting its arms around. Whatever this devil, whatever these people have been doing to children, to teenagers, to, um, you know, young people, it shows money. It shows this, him trying to give ice cream, trying to, you know, sweeten them up, trying to get them to, to uh, go with the devil. It's in fucking reverse. The devil is showing. Again, spiritual warfare people. This devil has been on top for a very long time. These uh, corrupt government uh, officials, authorities have been doing this shit for a long time to children. The truth is out. My messages are bringing out the fucking truth. When a high priestess is represented to anyone, people, anyone, that high priestess is connected straight to God himself. God shows that high priestess and tells that high priestess messages throughout their entire life. But then God also steps in and says, you know what? The keeper of all secrets, it's time for you to open your mouth. And that time's here. We have the queen of wands in reverse, people. Queen of wands in reverse. Again, I don't read this deck in reverse. 
the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Everybody looked at her like she was a sweet princess. Oh, she is such a good doer. She, you know, she um, does so much for our community, offers so much for our community. This Queen of Wands was doing nothing but fucking lying to everybody, deceiving, put on, putting a facade on for everybody to see her. This Queen of Wands is being taken out. So if you know an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your life, and you suspect them of fucking you over, that Queen of Wands, the world is seeing who the hell she is. Okay, I'm going to pull three more cards and I'm going to end this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you would like to donate to my channel, I would greatly appreciate that very much. I'm really struggling. I can't even put gas in my car. So, And it's winter time here, so it's really important that I have gas. Even $10 would help me. I hate to beg, but I would really, really appreciate it if one of my subscribers would donate anything to me. I have the possibilities. So the possibilities of somebody flying high, they were taking these possibilities away. This person that are these people that they've been hindering their growth, it's because they didn't want them to have any type of possibilities is what Spirit's telling me. And in that, in return, their possibilities are all ripped away. They no longer have one ounce of support from the higher power. They could be praying. They could be asking for forgiveness and the higher power saying, uh-uh. You know what? You chose the darkness over the light. You're not going to come running to us now that you're, you're reaping your karma. No fucking way. We have existence. The universe and God is making their existence known. That's what that means. That there are fucking earth angels. That there is a divine feminine, a high priestess, an empress, divine masculine, a high um, hair font. Everyone and anyone that represents the higher power in a good way, they're showing that this existence is real. They're showing them by people reaping their fucking karma, by their lives being hindered, by their money being, you know, money loss, by these government uh, employees being shown for who they are. God is here. And God is kicking some motherfucking ass. Believe it. I'm telling you. Last card is, what I tell you, the source. Now, with that, that is the higher power. That's source himself. Again, I don't even need to even finish this reading. We, This is the source telling you, hey, you stupid motherfuckers, I'm here. God is here. You have fucked with the wrong power. With that being said, everybody have a beautiful, loving day. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I love you so much. If you can donate something to me, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Peace and blessings.